In this video, we demonstrate the features of the 53401 and some of its basic safety and ease of use functionality. Good morning, Christy. Thanks for taking the time to see me. How are you doing? I'm good. Thanks for coming. I'm excited to learn more about the 53401 Temporary Pacemaker. Yes, it's Medtronic's single chamber temporary pacemaker, and I can't wait to show you its features and how it can benefit you and your patients. It's durable and damage resistant device that's easy to use. I'll start by reviewing the physical features. There's a protective cover that helps keep the device clean. There's also a protective cover for the rapid atrial pacing controls. So both are removable and replaceable. So the protective covers keep the device clean. Yes, and they're also a safety feature and are used to prevent the accidental manipulation of controls. There's another great way to keep the device clean. There are disposable pouches sold by Medtronic. Another feature is the IV pole hanger. And when it's not in use, it folds flat. Are we able to continue using the same cables? Yes, and here's the cable connector port. I brought along a copy of the compatibility guide so you can use it to see if cables are compatible with this device. That's a helpful resource. Where do I install the batteries? Sure, great question. To release the battery compartment, just press these two buttons. I see those are AA batteries. Is it okay to use lithium or rechargeable batteries? No, only alkaline. There's a 24 hour low battery warning which only applies to alkaline batteries. I see. So let's discuss how to change the batteries. So just press these two buttons at the same time. Does it matter how the batteries are placed in the drawer? Yes, it does. The 53401 requires proper battery polarity for operation. Ensure that a new set of batteries is installed with each use and that the batteries are inserted correctly. You can do this by verifying alignment with the polarity markings on the inside of the battery drawer. And I see only one spring, should there be two? Nope, there's only one spring. The other is actually inside the device, so it cannot be seen. Once the door is closed, the batteries will fit tightly and have good contact. Go ahead, give it a try. Okay. Now make sure the battery drawer is closed and you can hear a click when it's shut. How will I know when the battery is low? There's a battery indicator on the screen right here. Once you've replaced the batteries, it'll show all the bars. The indicator will start flashing when there are only 24 hours remaining. The red light continues to flash to indicate insufficient power and until new batteries are installed. Will the 53401 continue to operate if the batteries are removed? Well, Medtronic does not recommend replacing the batteries while the 53401 is turned on or actively pacing the patient. However, if the temporary pacemaker is in use during an emergency situation and the batteries must be replaced, you need to ensure that the device is locked before replacing the batteries. The pacing continues for 30 seconds from the time the battery drawer is opened. That's good to know. I've used other external pacemakers previously. Are there any differences I should know? Yeah, there are some enhancements on the 53401 temporary external pacemaker. There is an LCD display. And as you turn the knobs, you can hear and feel the clicks. There's also more range with the programmable parameters. The paste rate may be programmed from 30 to 200 paces per minute. For output, it's a constant current device, which allows more consistent capture and maintains the pacing threshold. What do you mean by constant current? So constant current refers to keeping the milliamps constant even if the lead impedance changes. Lead impedance can vary due to many factors such as you know, changes in blood chemistry, medication effects, metabolic imbalances, and other changes in the patient. I kind of think of constant current like the cruise control in your car. When the car is going up a hill, the car automatically adjusts the accelerator to maintain the speed. On this device, if the lead impedance increases, the voltage automatically adjusts to keep the same output. I see. The output will stay the same even if the lead impedance changes. What is the range of output values? Well, it can go as low as 0.1 milliamp all the way to 25 milliamps. So it's sure to meet all your patient needs. That's great. 
Let's see the sensing range. So sensitivity range is 0.4 millivolts to 20 millivolts. There is also the option for asynchronous pacing. Okay, got it. What is the expected longevity of the device? The expected service life of this model is seven years. After seven years, you should replace it with a new product. And also remember that long-term reliability of the 53401 temporary pacemaker is subject to the actual use conditions of the device. So look at the technical manual for recommendations on testing, preventative maintenance, and other tips for reliable operation. So that's it for the features, enhancements, and batteries for the 53401. Next, we'll discuss the user interface, pacing parameters, as well as getting the device ready for use. Great, thank you. You're welcome.